crazy. <laughs> ben, describe the feeling. It's like, like a cool breeze <laughs> on your eyeballs. A cool breeze. Yeah. No, 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 no. I promise it's good. But I'm wearing contacts. Okay, you don't have to do it, then. Andrew. You got to do it. I'm gonna put these in my eyes. <laughs> put these in your eyes. <laughs> put these in your eyes. Put these in your eyes. Do I look like I've been? Nobody's gonna do it. <laughs> you did it. You did it. Oh, no one has to contacts. anymore. You're putting in other eye drops. <laughs> Just do them. Uh, specifically, these are all contacts. in one. Lubricant, redness reliever, estrogen eye drops. Estrogen. <laughs> Astrogen. Nolan's crying. <laughs> just talking. Can there. you look up astringent? I don't know if that's how you Can say you look it. up what astringent, astringent or astrogen means? Can oh, we I'm, go back to camp? Oh, Let's go back to camp. No, we need to leave right now. We need to leave right now. <laughs> Michael's waiting. <laughs> Wait, come on, man. Come on, man. No, we need Don't to get the fuck out, out right on, now. now. Come on, man. <laughs> What's up, legends? We are back in West Virginia because there are a lot of rocks here. There's like a lifetime of rocks here. I'm actually looking at a rock right now, and I want this vlog to be about the rocks. Or if we need to stab anyone. Oh, yeah, hello. Really are you nice filming? Guy, no. <sighs> it's lame. It is lame. How does it feel? It feels super good. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, the whole thing feels really solid. Suave. Beautiful. That's the shot. Suave. Seguro que han oído que yo soy. Sally's ass in my face. What more could you want? It's a callback. Go back. <laughs> That was brilliant. That's the callback we needed. <laughs> we were just over there last time. That's so true! We were at this crack. <laughs> oh, yeah. And now you, like, creep around. You feel that? That's what success feels like. Oh, yeah. That's what success looks like. Hell, yeah. Mm hmm. Awesome, how was that? That was horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That part always gets me. <laughs> Gumpy, what's your name? Uh, Geo. Full name? Uh, Gumpy's fine. Fuck you. <laughs> so Geo, this is your first time climbing outside this weekend? Yes, yes it is. How, how was that? Interesting, for yeah. sure. Definitely a lot harder than the gym. It's harder than the gym? I would say so. How is it harder than the gym? Uh, V1s are not V1s out here. Did you try any ropes outside? No. Terrifying. They're too high. They're too high? Me. Yeah. Holding in my bolts that are this big or this big, I don't know. Stella and Ben were giving conflicting answers, so. You would like it if the bolts were longer, a bit, a bit further into the rock? Yeah, that'd be awesome if they could do that. What do you think the rock would feel about that? Uh, I don't know. I didn't ask. So what do you what do you think about the rocks out here in West Virginia? Amazing, amazing. amazing? Time. Yeah, I amazing would say. time. They're pretty cool. There's a rock over here that's like pretty flat. I imagine there's another rock behind it that's a little bit flatter that we could have climbed on, but it's just rained recently, I guess. So it's yeah, the river's water. a bit too high. Yeah, river's freezing by the way, but it's pretty nice. Reminds me of going fishing with my dad. Uh, but out here, they're just. I think they're like incorporated with razor blades because it feels like my pads of my fingers are getting destroyed, which sucks. But it's pretty nice. Uh, there's not a lot of like, like the way indoor holds are. It's like a little, I don't know the material. I know it's plastic, but like, you know how it's like a little bumpy, a little rough. Rocks have that, but sometimes they're a little flatter and it's, I don't know, I would say all around harder than indoor stuff. Did you top out any boulders? Uh, one. Yeah? How did yeah, it feel? One. It was pretty cool. Yeah? I've topped out on boulders indoor, uh, but it's pretty, like, flat. You know, and, like, you climb up, and then it's a flatness, which is pretty sick. 
Um, but it was a bit of a slope. Yeah, I would out. say it's a lot of bit of a slope. <laughs> I had to use a tree to like put my back on yeah. it to like get up there because I thought uh, if I fell. Oh, you you, you dapped. A what? The the question yeah. that Gio actually proposed. Gio, you want to propose it again? So the question was, why is it so hard to take our own advice? That's a fair question. I don't know. I mean, like, hmm. I don't think we always, we often know what's best. We just don't want to do it. You know? Because it's hard? Or why? Yeah, I mean, saying is always easier than doing. Like, I think there's just, like, activation there, right? Like, you have to go do the thing, and that's a whole other ball game than just, like, sitting here and talking. Like, I can, like, start a intensive hangboarding regimen but like actually sticking to it is fucking hard i think that like anyone can give anyone that advice but i think it's equally hard to follow no matter who it comes from you know yeah yeah i think that's a good point because we were talking about how actions don't necessarily define who we are per se yeah. but they also totally do like if you were gonna grind hard on a handboard for yes. a year yeah that's that's an action and that's gonna define literally Seriously. define your body yeah. <laughs> yeah right no for sure i agree actually i think that yeah no i do i do agree and i think that it's cool because well it's not cool i guess but i mean it, it's it's the same vein of like i mean accountability also i think plays a part in it right like that's why bosses are effective like sure we could all work for ourselves but at the end of the day we often some right. some of us give ourselves more slack than others but like it's easy to get away with yourself you know yeah like you can let yourself yeah. get away with whatever you want to absolutely which is why it's so easy for some people to just not confide in others yeah yeah because that way they can just get away with more exactly no one's holding them accountable how do you achieve that mental accountability for yourself then how do you achieve that mental Yeah, is it just a workout that you have to just continuously try and fail? I mean, some people use religion for that, right? <clears throat> that is true. Like, that's, like, a big thing with Christianity is, like, you have to hold yourself accountable. Yeah. yeah. And I guess God's holding you accountable, or people yeah. feel like God's holding you accountable. But if he's but everywhere, then... If he's everywhere and inside of you... Yeah, and I don't even think, like, religion definitely is a fundamental portion of it, but you can branch it out into things that aren't necessarily religions, but have, like... You know, like disciplinary rituals yeah. that people do, like runners sure. do, motivational people that, you know, they have a routine, they stick to it. Got it's. I'm gonna try that boulder. You're trying the pizza boulder? Cool. No, the high one. Okay. Nice. <laughs> so, would you come back? To here? Yeah. And climb again? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah.